Good morning, guys. I am up and I am moving and my camera's gonna die. <laughs> but I am going to go on a run, probably about five miles. Legs are still just sore. I just think it's just, I have so much activity. I've been working so much and the ERs are so busy. Last, I think two days ago, I walked eight and a half miles, just going up and down from rooms and back to the lab and just, it's been crazy busy. So I'm gonna go get this run in and I'll check in with you guys when I get back. dressed up and ready to go. It's cold outside. It's 33 degrees, but the sun's out, so I feel like it's like 43 degrees, so I have shorts on. Hopefully I made the right decision. So I am back from my run, and it was a very, very good run. I finally felt better. Like, what's funny is my leg was bothering me so much, and my hamstring on my left leg for months. And I, you can like feel it, it's like knotted and bunched up. So yesterday at work, I was like leaning against like a counter and I kind of leaned against it and I could feel it. So I kind of like put my leg into it. Well, as I was pushing my leg into it, I could kind of almost like work the knot out. <laughs> I'm sure it probably looked funny, but as this meeting was going on, I'm leaning against the table and kind of pushing against that knot. I think I like released it, you know, when you get like deep pressure or deep tissue massage. I think it finally released that um, knot in my hamstring because today I woke up and I was like, I don't feel anything there and when I ran I didn't feel any like catching or grabbing like it was bothering me whatsoever so I think it works just lean against the counter and you can give yourself a deep tissue massage <laughs> um, but yes it did go well I went just under seven miles so that's one of the longer ones I've done in quite some time um, I actually wore my old Hoka Nepalis and I wish they had those back I really wish they would bring those back however they have them on like the Hoka website, they're called like Hoka OVAs or something. They're the ugliest shoes I've ever seen in my life. But they said that they're created after the Hoka Bondi 3. I'm sorry, the Hoka Clifton 3, which is like kind of the wide platform one. It's kind of like in between a, a Clifton and a Bondi-ish. So if you're ever looking for that, which I'm at the point where I'm like, I really, really like this shoe. Hmm. I'll have to check it out. So it's actually later in the day. I took a three no two and a half hour and a half because i work tonight and i usually can't nap that long so hopefully tonight i'll be good to go because it is friday the 13th and in the ER that is not a good omen so hopefully i will be good but i don't know if you guys saw it but we meaning my dad finished the barn door Let me turn on the light but he whitewashed it it was his idea to whitewash the door so it wasn't painted and we could kind of like see like the details of the wood and have all the knots and stuff. But he put the barn door up. We got it from Wayfair and it's really, really nice. It's got like a track down there on the floor, but it's super cool because this is our basement and my dog loves to go down into the basement and for some reason just pee on the carpet. Like that's her motivation. So you can go down in the basement, but the barn door now closes. Ooh. Barn door closes. And there you go. Covers up the door. So my dog doesn't like it because she can't go down there right now. <laughs> the kids actually have to open it up. But I put the kitchen table back where it belongs. The bar stools are up. There's my Nepalis. <laughs> um, pretty much all the backsplash is grouted. Um, we still have to put up the closet and the pantry doors. And then, you know, there's some stuff like the quarter round on the floor and some, you know, grouting and face plates and stuff like that. Or, I'm sorry, um, some silicone on the bottom. Um, but pretty much everything is done. So I put back up my like a little mini espresso machine and then we have a TV so the kids can watch cartoons in the morning. And then I got this little guy. I saw him many months ago. I ordered him about the time I started the kitchen renovation and he was black, white, and gold. And those are the colors in my kitchen. So I have gold pools, white countertops, white cabinets. And then I have, I do have a black fridge. I have this really old black trash compactor. <laughs> Um, but I do have black with like the barn door and black with like the sign and some black over here. So anyways, Mickey is now over here, but I'm not sure what to put on top of it. So you guys let me know what should I put on top of it? like decorative things, utensils, I'm not sure, but he's super cute.
I am back from my run and I was looking at my phone and 48 minutes, 5.4 miles and it's good. Um, I wore my Sockneys, so these are the speeds and I really, really like them. They definitely have like a perk to your step. However, I feel like my legs were unstable, so I like them, but they definitely need to be safe for a little bit shorter runs, and the last few times I have ran in them were around three or four miles, so this one being a little bit longer, and it being such like a low-cut shoe, I feel like I might be better off saving these for some shorter runs or sprints. Um, so that's what we're doing. But today I am making some chili over here in the crock pot. You guys saw that earlier. Um, my son came home from his uh, dad's this weekend and he started crying because I didn't put up the Christmas tree and I told him that we were gonna do it together and he wanted to do it like that night, Sunday night. And I told him, you know, buddy, we need to wait. You know, it, tonight's not the night, it was late. So again, he started crying. So I'm gonna surprise him with chili and um, their Mimi and Papa's gonna come over and help us put up the Christmas tree and just, yeah, eat chili and cookies and put up the Christmas tree and just kind of have some normalcy in their life. So I know he'll be excited. He already said, are we putting a Christmas tree tonight? <laughs> I was like, maybe, but that's our plan and I could smell it over here. I don't even have lights on in my kitchen and it's so bright and white. <laughs> you don't need them. Pretty much what we have left in the kitchen, my dad is just gonna paint the doors um, for the pantry, which I got some new handles, they'll be black, and then new handles for the uh, laundry doors, they'll be black as well. Um, but yes, I have the chili over here cooking away. I'll show you guys. Does that look good? I think I need a little bit more of like some fluids. <laughs> so it seems a little dense. And I, you guys saw me put honey in. I always put honey in. And then another secret ingredient I always use is uh, cinnamon. So you guys can see I pulled that out earlier, but that is a good thing to add. So I always add the cinnamon and the honey. That was one thing uh, when I was at the firehouse, we went to like a chili tasting contest at some school and they wanted the firemen to judge it. And I remember trying one that had cinnamon and honey in it and it was just so good, you know, cause the tomatoes are so acidic and can be almost bitter that it just adds just that touch of like sweetness and just that almost surprise flavor of like cinnamon and I mean, I mean just a little bit, I'm not going crazy with it, but it's so good. Trust me, I was like a full on, just basic chili, don't change it, it's good the way it is. But honey and cinnamon just really help with like the acidity and just making it so good. I'm watching Night Watch over here. And then Miss Coco Bean. She got a new collar for the holidays. Can you say hi? Yeah, yeah, you good girl. But yep, that's the plan for today. And then uh, finish up, right? going to be 75 degrees here and it's a week before Thanksgiving so I was actually gonna go down and cycle but I decided not to because of the weather being so warm I knew I just had to take advantage of it plus schools are starting to shut down again they shut down all the high school and middle schools I think I talked to you guys about so elementary are still open still open meaning I foresee either after Thanksgiving or somewhere in between the schools shutting down completely and going virtual again which 
i.e. just in terms of running means that I'm stuck at home again every single day. So I have to go down to the basement if I want to get like a workout or physical exercise in. So my legs are sore. <laughs> I am tired, but I am going to go get a nice workout in. I get to run. I always remember that. I am going to go get this run on and I will check in with you guys when I get back. Do you think this is too much if it's like 55 degrees out? <laughs> I don't know. Either way, I'll be warm. Let's go run. my good morning because I worked an overnight last night um, at the hospital or the ER and I'm tired so normally I basically just eat breakfast you know get the kids kind of situated and then I head off to bed and so that's what I'm doing now I set them basically up with like their tablet you know just activities to do usually a movie or cartoons and then um, obviously like breakfast so I'm making them cinnamon rolls right now and then I go to bed for about two and a half hours, two hours, somewhere in there, just basically like a, a longer nap. And then I will wake up and if I don't work the next day, then I'll just kind of stay awake and then I go to bed at like eight o'clock because <laughs> I just can't stay awake anymore. But because I work again tonight, I'm probably going to take an afternoon nap and usually the kids will lay down with me at that time. So usually around one or two o'clock we'll lay down again. So. That means I'm not doing much today other than sleeping, sleeping, and then eating, and then going back to work. So <laughs> that's the plan for today. Today it's like super gloomy and just kind of dark outside. Um, so it's perfect sleeping weather. It's supposed to start raining in a couple hours. So I thought, why not make some cinnamon rolls for the kids? I love this oven, guys. It's a Samson. I had a couple people ask. Um, and in my previous house I had before I got married, um, right after we got married, we replaced it, and it was a Samson. And this is just um, a newer version of what we had had before, but absolutely love it. I think it's been five minutes, and we're already up to like 350 degrees. So I love this oven, especially when we're talking about sleep here right now. And the faster the oven heats up, it means the faster I can cook the cinnamon rolls, which means the faster I can go lay down. So I'm going to get these cinnamon rolls going. It is 55 degrees out. It's two days to Thanksgiving and I'm hoping to get this vlog up to you guys so you can have some content to watch because I know a lot of us are going to be having different Thanksgivings and I always enjoy watching YouTubes. So I am going to go get about a five to six mile run in. There is literally rain on my doorstep. Like I just looked at radar and it is coming. So <laughs> I need to hurry. So I'm gonna actually bring my phone with me so I can show you some of the trails that I've been using. And I'm gonna take my koala clip with you. I know I've shown it to you before. Focus. Um, and I absolutely love this to just, it sticks in the back of my sports bra. So like right here on my back. And it's fantastic. It doesn't move at all. It gives you a little bit of a hunchback, but it doesn't bother me when I run. It doesn't wiggle, it doesn't jiggle. No issues whatsoever. So I always like to have it on me. 
um, and then that way I can get you guys videos. So let's go run. dry however it is raining so you can hear obviously I'm out of breath but I'm running a little extra fast just because I'm trying to beat this rain and possibly thunderstorms so I just wanted to show you some of the trails that I've been on how high those houses are up there I am going to head back and hopefully not get too wet. It's just sprinkling right now, not really raining, but I have quite a bit of a canopy above, so hopefully that will help me stay dry, except for like the last half mile, it will be uncovered. So I can hear the wind picking up. Look at this house, look how high up it is. Holy moly. All right, let's go run. Did not make it. <laughs> I got soaked. I don't know if you guys can see, but I am soaked and cold. Well, at least I tried. At least the, I'd say about 4.75 miles were dry, and then the last 0 .7 mile, 0 0.75 miles to a mile were soaking, pouring, 30 mile an hour north winds. So, that was fun. I'm gonna go warm up and then I'm going to go look for some Christmas presents for my twins and then pick up pumpkin pie and apple pie for Thanksgiving and then probably just come home and relax. See, Sissy? Hmm. Sissy? <laughs> hey, Keith. Bad boys. decorating the house. I just added a few extra things. I don't like to go too crazy because there's tons to pick up. Just a white tree. Um, I added um, this cozy fire. It's cold nights, hot cocoa. And then just kind of put a tree next to like our family photo and, and stuff. So added that. And then just some little things. There's not much in here. Oh, and then I have my little Mickey Mouse with a hot cocoa in it. And then our tree is done. I had this hanging. It's actually Tootsie stocking, and I couldn't do it. I hung it up, and then I was just like, I can't do it. It's Tootsie's, and it shouldn't be Coco's, not because Coco doesn't deserve it or anything, but I was like, that is Tootsie stocking, and I just can't do it. So I hung up all of our stockings, and then I have this little one over here that says the greatest gift is your family, and this will be Coco's little stocking. Because I cannot, I can just not find a pet one right now. Eventually, I mean, obviously, I want to get Coco an official stocking, but that's what we have up hanging right now. And then just finished decorating up here. And I think we got Christmas almost done. And then we added a manger right here. Guys, so like I said, I am finishing up for the evening. I am going to let the kids just play on their tablets. I'm going to do laundry, put things away. All the fun stuff of being an adult. 
and then I'm gonna get this vlog up for you guys. So I hope you guys have a great week and have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Leave me a comment below. How is your Thanksgiving? What do you guys plan on doing for Thanksgiving? Are things changing? Things staying the same for you? But I wish you guys a very happy Thanksgiving. And I'll check in with you guys next week. Happy Thanksgiving.